guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I am going to share with you a couple of things that I have been absolutely loving in January. And some of these are not going to be brand new. Some of these are going to be items I've talked about in the past, but you know, if they if they make my favorites, so maybe this is the monthly favorites. I'm not too sure. But if they um, they make my favorites, if I find myself reaching for them for any length of time, and especially if I find myself reaching for them over and over again, I know that they are really super, super good. So I'm a New England girl, as most of you know, and um, we just love our Dunkins. And so, yes, it's a January, but I love my iced coffee. So sometimes Jay and I will make iced coffee at home. We don't have a cold brew set up, but we just kind of, you know, brew it and cool it and all that stuff in it. And it tastes really good. But there's nothing like going to Dunkin's and getting a large dark roast iced coffee. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, really, you weren't expecting me to talk about coffee, right? Um one thing that I have really been enjoying tremendously the entire month of January is playing and actually started the tail end of last year. Oh, I see my hand is still bruised. Anyways, I've been playing and playing with eyeshadows and I've been getting more, a little bit more daring for me anyways. And I've just been loving some of the palettes that I have. Some of the palettes that I've been enjoying a whole lot have been palettes that I've bought that have been gifted to me, some from PR, some from my beautiful friends. But I would say if I had to take one palette and say, which, which is my favorite that I try to use a little bit of something every day, even though it's not a palette that I could say pack and go away with because it wouldn't have enough of the neutral colors that I love. But this palette is definitely, I love this palette. This is Too Faced. I know there's been some controversy over Too Faced and you know, all of that stuff, but I love this palette. This is the then and now. And it's to me, it's just, Beautiful, beautiful pops of color. But like I said, there's not enough for me, you know, really bone colors or super, super neutrals to make this a palette that I could just use on my own every single day. But like, for example, today I added two of the plum shades. I added um, Trixie and, of course I can't read it, Trixie and Ice Queen. No, Trixie and Villain. So I added those just on the on a little bit of the outer or an inner just to give myself a little bit more pop. But totally on my eyes other than that today is the Temptress. Temptress, um, this is from Ultra Ego. I've mentioned this and shown this in the past. So this palette is definitely gone right up there in my favorites. I really, really like it. It is extremely affordable. It blends beautifully. It stays on my eyes beautifully. I love the colors. I love everything that I can do with it. And I think for this price point, the quality of this is amazing. I've also been loving, this is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky, the original one that I have. I've had this for quite a while. For the longest time, I didn't use it because I just found it to be too pigmented. And then all of a sudden, I said, I'm going to go try it again. Because as your skills get better, you find yourself playing with shadows in a different way. So this palette, I really, really like. I bought this, like I said, I really don't know how long ago. And then this one I bought under the sort of the directions of Marlene Fab and Glam. And I really like this. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3. Again, this is a palette that I bought. I have used a number of the colors in here. And just to show you how more advanced I am now than I was initially, I reach for one of the other palettes to go along with this to darken. I don't know that I'm a smoky person. Like I go, I look at some of the, the, the beautiful women and there's so many of them out there that have that smoky look on their shadows. And I really, really like that smoky look. And Sheila for one has, has her shadows are just absolutely beautiful and absolutely, she does a great job with the smoky eye. 
And I feel, I know a number of others have, you know, do a lot of smoky eye looks and stuff like that. The only thing I haven't yet dug into, and I'm really looking forward to this, and I'm thinking that I'm going to give this a try because this is, this is the Too Faced. I got this as a gift. I still have the plastic covering over it. So I'm thinking as I'm looking at this, you get a little bit of a, a bronzer, you know, a little bit of a highlight, and then you've got some, a blush, which is more of a mauve color, which I really kind of like. And then you have a contour. And I'm not a big contour person, but I'm going to go on a trip and I want to take one palette with me that has everything that I might like. And I so this is the one that I have been using and really liking a lot. And I'm thinking that the browns, they're very similar, but the highlight in this palette is much prettier. I just wish this was not quite as maybe warm colored or whatever, if that was a little bit more of a cooler brown. But this is the, the Viseart and this is the Fairy palette, again, with the the blush, the highlighter, and the either contour or bronzer. I think it's a contour, that's what I've been, that's what I've been using it for. So I'm going to give this a try, just to see how it compares to that, but this has been, I've been just reaching for this ever since I got this. I think I got this in the summer time. Ah, oh, from Marlene, I believe. Or maybe from Sheila, one of them, I can't remember now. It's terrible. But ever since I got this, I've been using this like every day. So this has been my go-to. And unless I can get a better brown color, this will be what I would pack on a, a trip when I don't want to bring a whole lot of stuff. So I have a number of different shadows and palettes. This I've just played with a very little bit. This was also a gift. This has some really nice colors. I really like this these colors in here. And this is an absolutely adorable looking palette. The Gingerbread Too Faced. So I really like it. Anyways, this one, the Chocolate Bond Bond. This one... I've used this a couple of times. I haven't really given as much love as I should. So I think I'm going to leave this out and try to reach for it all this week and see how I do. But I've got a number of palettes that were sent to me. That, and this is also, this is amazing because this is the C color. And look how close they are. They're really, really close. Both of these are dupes for the Anastasia Sultry palette. And I think the the only difference is the shade in the C color palette is a little bit lighter, a warmer brown than the one in the Temptress Alter Ego. But what an amazing price point they are. So I've got a number of palettes that I've been using and probably the, the Z-Art for name brand has been my all time favorite. I have Huda my Huda Mauve Obsession that I've really loved, and I just got uh, a dupe for that. That's amazing. So I've really enjoyed playing with palettes and playing with different eye look. I don't know if you can see, you know, the different eye looks. I'm just trying to be really a little bit more creative. The other things that I have really enjoyed over and over again, and these are the Ultra Beauty. This is the Cream Eyeshadow and Liner. I never use this as a liner. This is my second one of these. And I just really, I just really like these. This I've already decided. Can you see the little glow it's giving me for my eyes? And this one, when I go really smoky, I end up using this shade. I'm going to put this next to it just so you can see. That's that. And that's the more pinky, purplish one. Anyways, what I've been doing is I just kind of put this on my eyes just to kind of give me that glow. So I love both of these. I've been reaching for them all the time. They're definitely my favorites. And one that I have to replace. And this is my, this is also Alter Beauty. And um, this is the brow highlighter. And this is in the matte. And you can see I need to sharpen it. I really like that. Sometimes I just go between my lips. I just go under here, you know, to kind of define the Cupid's bow a little bit more. I really like this. And I bought this over and over again and scandalized. I don't even know if you can get scandalized anymore from Rimmel. This one is kind of really beat. I have one in pink 
that I really, really like, but more often than not, I've been using the white just around the outer parts of my eyes. And you have to be careful because if you put it on too hard, you get like these white blobs sitting there and it looks ridiculous. So definitely, definitely favorites. This is sort of like, I've tried different concealers under my eyes. I have very baggy, crepey skin under my eyes and above my eyes. So when I wear any kind of a concealer or even my foundation and I go up too high, all you can see is my laugh lines, my wrinkles. This I really like. Now, someone has said to me, and I did see it, but I didn't buy it. Physicians Formula has a very similar product, but this is the Boeing Concealer. And this is the one, and it's, I've worn this to heck, but inside this round rim is a little bit of concealer. On the outside is sort of like moisturizing, and it feels super, super good. I just did that here. It feels super, super good, doesn't dry. So if I have to do like a spot check or something, I use this. This lives in my pocketbook. More often than not, this is what I'm reaching for when I have to do any kind of a spot check during the day. And I still continue to love the concealer, the, um, the uh, oh my God, the industrial strength one. I love that the best. It's in a little pot. I use that all the time on my veins. So to me, that's just been absolutely perfect. And then my two cheapy, I love, 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 love my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I just keep going to this. I just, I, this is like really almost, I've hit pan in the middle. I'm scraping around the edges. I just go to this every day and I love this. I love this. I love this. And then this is still what I've been traveling and grabbing color corrector. And you can see I've hit pan in the green. I've hit pan in the peach. And uh, the yellow and the blue I don't use as much, but I do use the peach and the green and I've hit pan. So very, very affordable products. Absolutely love them. And one of the things that I've recently tried was an eyelid primer. I'm not an eyelid primer person, but this Ultra Ego, this was sent to me along with their two palettes. I really like this a lot. I put this on and I find that I have, I don't have issues with my eye with my eyelids, you know, like some people have their, their eyelids, their mascara, not their mascara, but their eyeshadows will crease all the time. I really don't have those issues with mine because I, I don't know, maybe my lids are drier, but when I put this on, it kind of gives it a really nice base. And then I put my eyeshadows on. And like today, when I did my eyeshadow, this is all, this is all the temptress. And then just a little bit of the Too Faced on the outer edge. And then in the center, this. So that's kind of like, you know, what I did. And this works well. So far, I have no complaints. And again, I'm not a, a person that uses eye primers in general. So I was kind of like really worried about how this was going to, to work on me. So I really like it a lot. And I still am using this Essence. This is the color corrector. But this I use in here. I don't really use it on my red veins or anything like that. It's very liquidy. It's very sheer. I just really like it and I use it. So those are just like some of my, I'm sure there's a ton of other favorites if I really think about it. But those are just some of my favorites that I have really, really enjoyed. And Built Bars, you've heard me speak of Built Bars before. Built Bars came out with a couple of new flavors. This particular one is, it's Banana Nut Bread. Let's see that. Anyways, this, hands down, it's the best tasting bar. I have loved their banana ones. I've loved their coconut ones. I loved a few, a number of the other ones. This is going to, this has moved into my number one spot. I love this flavor and so does Jay. And the other new one that they came out with uh, is peanut butter brownie. Very, very good. But to me, very, very chocolatey. It's very, very chocolatey. But the banana bread, that's good. The banana cake is awesome. So I went to a thrift store and I thought of little Susan, little Susan, little poet. Anyways, I went to a thrift store and I was, by the time you see this, 
the event will either be upcoming or have already happened. And so we're going to a Roaring Twenties. I ordered a dress off of the Amazon. I hated it. I hated it. It made me look like a sack. This is very unbecoming. It was just a long black midi dress, you know, with flaring out at the waist. And so I thought that would hide all your sins. And I just didn't like it. But I ordered a green shawl, see-through, really kind of really pretty shawl with fringe and all that stuff to go along with it. And I put it on and I looked like a joke. It was like ludicrous. So I found a black dress that I had in my closet, sleeveless, glitter, very straight, hugs down, which I don't like, but it's very long and I can, I can either belt it or whatever, but I'll probably leave it long. And so I found that it looks perfect with the, the, um, the wrap over it. And I'm also going to wear a really silky, I've got this like silky, um, black t-shirt quarter. So I'm going to put that on underneath it, not a t-shirt, but a top, I'm going to put it on underneath it. And then I'm going to have the black glittery dress over it. And then the shawl with the fringe and the wig I'm going to wear. I really, I, this is what I think I'm going to wear at this point in time. I think I'm going to wear this one because this one is, this is Hopper from Envy. I've shown this in my, my channel before, but this is like super, super twenties looking you know, in the sense that you've got the curls and all that. So I think this is what I'm going to wear with the headband that I bought. So when I went thrift shopping, I ended up finding this really pretty green. I'll show it to you here. I'll superimpose it. You can see it hanging here. But this really pretty string of beads that got, that has green in it and looks really, really nice. And then I bought and found these kind of funky earrings that look very 20-ish, 20, wrong 20s. So I'm going to wear that um, along with the, the funky boots. <laughs> Let me show you those boots because those boots are... Now, there's the dress. <laughs> these are very bohemian boots, I think very bohemian especially with the buttons on the inside so this dress is long and you can see the beads that i got now the pearls that i have here these are pearls that i just had hanging around but these are the ones that i bought at the thrift store and then this is the, the feather that i'm going to clip into my hair and put around my head and all that stuff i think it's going to be really cute oh what happened to the earrings oh i dropped them these are the earrings. Now, I took them out. I sanitized them. See now, thrift store, right? So I sanitized them, and I think, I think they're going to be absolutely perfect. Of course, this the wig I have on is not the wig I'm going to wear, but basically it'll clip in like this, go around my head. Now, I have that on. <laughs> is that not stinking cute? I mean, look how cute that is. I think it's like, it's so cute and it's going to look so good in that wig. I could wear this one, but I think the bob style of the other wig is just perfect. So that brings me to my, my final. One of my all time favorites so far has been the ability to explore wigs. I have bought wigs. I have had wigs sent to me. I have wigs I love, wigs I don't love. I have toppers, I have the, the buns. Many of you have seen my hair helpers throughout the whole year. So ultimately, yes, one of my all time favorites are all the wigs that I have and so much fun that I can have. I can almost have, almost have perfect hair anytime I really want it. This is my Raquel Welch. This is editor's pick in the shade um, shade of cappuccino and um, this probably has out of all the wigs I have that I own this is probably the fullest probably has the most permatees but I love this I love the fluffiness the fullness I love how it flows I just I love it so anyways I I do love the wigs what do you think let me put this on <laughs> oh lordy lordy anyways whoops so unless I come up with a a different idea for my shoes I think I'm going to wear those boots and just go total bohemian 
have a total bohemian look and and just keep it that way because I think I think that'd be kind of funky. And Jay's gonna wear a tuxedo and we ordered a, a hat for him, not a top hat, but another kind of gangstery hat. And I'm gonna be sort of like a mall. And I really debated whether or not to wear the blonde blonde wig or to wear Harper. And I think Harper will just look better because the blonde wig is longer and um, just looks a little bit different. So anyways, guys, I'm sorry I'm going on and on. I really thought this was going to be a super short video and here it is long. But in my next video, hopefully I'll have some photos all done out. <laughs> and you can see. Oh, and I got black gloves, lace gloves. So I wanted to get a cheesy ring to, you know, have on my lace gloves. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you later.